Guys, in this video, I wanted to take a few minutes to do a tabletop comparison between two new guns to the market. This is my TSOS 1911 DS Carry, and this is my Gerson Witness 2311. Both of these are a double stack 1911, uh, both chambered in 9mm. And what I wanted to do in this video is talk to you about some of the similarities and differences between these two guns. Before we get started guys, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, like and share the video, as well as leave me a comment down below. That way it helps to overcome some of the YouTube shadow banning. I've got videos on each of these guns, so go over to my channel and check them out if you want to get some more info on either one of these. Uh, of course, this is my newest gun. This is the TSOS 1911 DS. Uh, of course, this is the carry model. It has the four and a quarter slide, and it is an all steel construction, and that is one of the differences between these two guns. Now, uh, of course, the frame on this one is steel, the slide is steel, and then the grip module is, of course, polymer. On the GER uh, what we have here is an alloy frame as well as a steel slide and polymer grip module. Polymer holds up and the grips just fine and as far as the difference between alloy on frames and steel on the frame it really is up to you. Uh, the weight difference between these two guns is just a few ounces. This is approximately 25 ounces where the TSOS is approximately 29 ounces and that is empty weight. Uh, of course you know if you were to add ammo uh, you, that is going to increase slightly as far as the weight of either gun. You can't add optics and lights on both of them. You can see on my Gerson I do have an optic on it. Uh, just a simple red dot. Now the red dot that comes with this I'm gonna have to say guys you might as well just throw it away. Uh, the one that uh, I had basically it failed. It got to where it was blinking and then finally it just failed so I replaced it with this one. Uh, the grips on these two guns there are some differences as far as how they feel in your hand. Just to show you guys what the grip texturing looks like. It is textured all the way around on the front strap and back strap of both of these guns. Now the Gerson does feel a bit more aggressive. It does feel like it's going to bite into your hand much more than what the TSOS does. But at the same time, the TSOS does feel very good in the hand. You know, that texturing on it, it feels just right. Of course, they come with 17 round magazines. Now, the TSOS actually comes with two. The Gerson only comes with one. And I think that, the, uh, that they should step that up. You know, the guns should come with at least two magazines in the box. Both do have the Ambi safeties. They do have the beaver tails, as you can see here. Of course, with the Gerson, if I were to put, when I put the optic on it, of course, I lost the rear, the rear sight. You can replace the uh, sight. Of course, you get the sight with the gun. You know, it drops right on there and is held in place just with a couple of screws. Uh, go over and check out some of my other videos showing that. Both of the guns do have a light rail, accessory rail. Both do have front serrations. Uh, you know, and it, they are both very solid performers. Uh, of course, on the TSOS, the way that you would mount an optic on it, you've got this plate. Uh, you can mount uh, your optic and then, of course, still have your sights as well. Uh, the Glock pattern sights, that dovetail that's on there is a Glock pattern dovetail. So you could replace those easily with an aftermarket sight. Uh, both of the guns, I'll have to say, perform well. They both use basically the Checkmate mags. As you can see here, this is the one for the TSOS. This is the one for the Gerson. They are identical magazines. Okay, They are identical. They will work in each other's guns, just like this. Here's one of the Gerson. It works fine in the TSOS. It locks back. And the same with the TSOS mag inside the Gerson. Okay? It cycles. It locks back just fine. So you can get these in aftermarket magazines. You know, you can get them just pretty much anywhere. Uh, your Prodigy mags do work. I've actually got videos where I show me using the Prodigy mags in these guns as well. You will notice a little bit of a difference 
on the magwell for each of these guns. Uh, of course, you will see that the Gerson has a little bit more of a pronounced magwell. Uh, not much, but it is slightly more pronounced than what the T-Sauce is. Now, of course, the Mac 9, which is another version of the double stack that T-Sauce has that they're importing under the Mac 9 brand through SDS Imports, uh, the it does have a little bit more of a magwell, a little bit more of a pronounced magwell on that particular gun. Uh, again, the other similarities and differences you can see on the T-Sauce it does not have a full length guide rod it has the standard gi guide rod uh, there's some people that prefer those some people prefer the full length guide rod uh, of course the gerson you can see here it does have the full length guide rod as far as I, what i prefer it's six of one half a dozen of the others it does not really matter to me both of them function the same in my opinion uh, but everyone else does have a preference let me know yours down in the comments below I can take down either one of these guns for maintenance. I have no problem taking them down with my hands without using any tools. And that is one of the things that I really like about how both of these guns are with this style uh, guide rod, even with that full length guide rod. Now the Mac that uh, they have out, you know, the Mac 9, uh, that gun is one that does come with a tool because it has a bull barrel. I do not yet have one, but I do have a, a Kimber. If you go back on my channel, you can see that I have a Kimber that has a bull barrel. And I talk about that a little in that video as far as takedown. Uh, you know, but this gun has performed flawlessly. Both of these guns have performed flawlessly. I'm glad to have both of them. Uh, now, there are a little bit of differences in how they feel. I'm going to have to say the T-Sauce feels a little more solid to me. Not saying that this feels bad. Uh, it's just that there is a little bit more wiggle in the slide to frame fit on the Gerson compared to the T-Sauce. The T-Sauce is just extremely solid. You do not have the same amount of wiggle on the T-Sauce as you do on the Gerson. But there again, guys, this is not bad. This is not bad at all, especially for the price. These are both considered to be basically a budget double stack. I know that for the longest time, anyone that wanted to get into a double stack had to pay a fortune. Uh, then with the Springfield Prodigy when it came out on the market uh, the floodgates open there's other manufacturers now that are getting into the double stack game and we are reaping the benefits of that just like with these two examples here both of the guns are very enjoyable to shoot uh, as far as recoil I do not personally feel any difference in recoil I think that the way that these guns are designed the way that they feel the way that they are in my hand when I'm shooting it really soaks up that recoil in there again guys it's just nine millimeters so it's not that bad the lockup on both of these guns is very solid you know when I have you can see I'm pushing down on that chamber and of course that lockup on both very very solid there's no issues with it whatsoever okay guys but again now the one thing that I'm gonna have to say the biggest difference between these two guns is the trigger this trigger I'm gonna have to say is not good in fact, it is a, I mean, it's not terrible, but it is not what we should have on a 1911 double stack. You know, it's not impossible. And there again, guys, you can go and modify your triggers. You can do a trigger job on it and make it much better. But you do get a little bit of take up. You get it right there. And it's a little bit spongier than the T-Sauce. Okay. But the take up on it is right there when you hit that wall. And then you press through it, and it's a little bit of a heavy trigger compared to other guns. The reset on it is approximately right there. And then when I press, and that hammer falls. Again, not terrible, but at the same time, I think it should be much better than what it is straight from the factory. The T-Sauce, on the other hand, the trigger on it, the way that it feels, much different. Okay, the take up on it, it's right there. It's just much more smooth, much more crisp. I hit that wall approximately there. I press through, that hammer falls, cycle the action, and of course the reset is right there. 
That is the biggest difference between these two guns is the way that the trigger feels. And even some folks out there don't like the triggers on these, you know, the factory trigger. There's a lot of folks out there that will simply go in and make a few changes, make a few adjustments on their gun. And that's common with, you know, any 1911 or any gun in particular. I mean, the trigger, you know, you can simply take it to a gunsmith and have them to do a trigger job for you if you wanted a much lighter trigger. And again, guys it's all about your personal preference as far as me i'm glad to have both of these guns i enjoy shooting them i've had both of them out in fact i had this one out to the range today uh, if you go back and check the video that i did at the range day video that was actually me recording some video with this gun today both are great i really enjoy shooting both but there are a few of the differences that i wanted to mention in this video but guys let me know your thoughts down below as far as which one of these you would prefer uh, if you've had the opportunity to shoot either one i'd love to know your thoughts but guys as always i appreciate you watching check out the rest of the videos on my channel check out all of the links down below uh, again guys i've got videos on both of these guns so go check them out thanks for watching check out the rest of the videos on my channel and we'll see you next time